Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another parking lot reaction with me, Rob, and... Matt Damon is Jim. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, we're, yeah, we're back at, uh, back at Tim Horton's uh, No Latte tonight. Uh, apparently, they don't, uh, they're cleaning a machine or something. But, uh, Jim, did we get some... Uh... Yep, we got our uh, Tim Biebs, which I think I called Bieber Bits uh, yeah. incorrectly, and I got my... Uh, Bieber balls. My nice, uh, uh -huh. uh, yeah, cold brew. Uh, yeah, a little I bit of sugar and caffeine brew. just before bed, so that's a great <laughs> idea. I think it's about a liter, too, so I'll be up at five. <laughs> All right, well, on that note, uh, yeah, we we just got out of the theater uh, seeing uh, Thor Love and Thunder uh, with uh, Chris Hemsworth and... Uh, Played Jane Foster again. Natalie Portman. <laughs> Natalie Portman. Of course, uh, Tessa Thompson, Taika Waititi as Korg, uh, Christian Bale as the yes. villain, the God Butcher. Or He's the God like Butcher, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, Jim, wh why don't you tell us what you... Would you give us a spoiler-free take on uh, what we just experienced? Yeah, that's hard to the spoiler-free because there's so many spoilers in it. But I'll try to avoid them. Uh, yeah, it's it's Taika Waititi, you know, having his summer fun, uh, all kinds of uh, all kinds of '80s references, uh, musical cues, and graphics and fonts and all kinds of things. So they're having a lot of fun with it. Uh, and I, at the same time, I think. Uh, for all his flippancy and all his sort of cavalier attitude, I think the ending has a bit of a heft, a bit of heft to it as well. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'd like to see. What, I don't think we've not talked about it yet, so I'd like to hear your take yeah. on that. Um, I would agree with you, Jim. One of the things, it, at times, I felt like I was watching a, a, a big rock video. Mm -hmm. uh, a music video, and sometimes it's like, oh, is this like a sitcom? of this show yeah uh and but that said it started with stakes it started with a real moment mm -hmm. and it and it pays that off at the end like you get a real human moment mm -hmm. you get a little you get a little verklempt and so yeah in the end i i it is not as good as uh thor ragnarok but I would still say check it out. We saw it in what the hell was it called? Screen X. Screen X. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I I'm glad we checked it out in Screen X. But I'm not gonna lie to you, folks. Uh, I, I, save your money next time. I don't know. What did you think? Like, I mean, you know, it's it, we were talking uh, we were talking about this element of it. It's a little bit distracting. You have to have your uh, peripheral vision set pretty high. There's nothing really, it's more of an atmospheric thing. There was one scene with, in a snowy valley, and the light was great because it was sort of all around the theater. But there's, as you pointed out, there's hard corners. Uh, there's, you know, the exit signs right there, the, the blackout lights. You know, these are all, all become parts of the screen, and that's not ideal. It, it's like an afterthought, sort of. But the effect can be cool. If I had my druthers, uh, I would select... If there was a choice, I'd select, select sound, surround sound rather than sort of surround screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I agree with you, Jim. We're, we're already getting great surround sound. That's standard now in every mm -hmm. good theater. Yeah. Uh, this felt uh, like a gimmick. A Not a horrible one. Mm -hmm. uh, at times, kind of neat. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, 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 it. the way I looked at it, you guys, was that it took me out of the movie you when you notice it you really notice it mm -hmm. and uh, a film should you should be immersed in the experience mm -hmm. so yeah yeah i shouldn't have to go yeah and he doesn't appear all the time like mm -hmm. it'll come back it'll yeah. go away and come back in the sort of the, the 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 broader shots or the longer shots and it'll come and go and come and go so it's not sort of and I can't imagine the technical uh, sort of choices that you have to make uh, for something like that, you know? But yeah. uh, Oh, well. In the end, uh, as far as the movie goes, uh, it didn't wreck it for me. I thought no, Thor no. Love and Thunder was, in the end, fun. Nice summer popcorn movie. Yeah. Uh, will it go down as one of the MCU greats? Probably not. Actually, in a lot of respects, it reminds me of 
the er, uh, earlier summer's MCU movie uh, in that it's, yeah, it's got some stakes, mm. but it's nothing where you're going, wow, this changes everything or... I think you have to, you know, I think that would be kind of a hell job as directing a Marvel movie at this point, because it's obviously, you know, you, you're under some sort of rubric. There's a certain way to do these things, no matter how iconoclastic you are as a director, like, you know, Taika Waititi, Taika Waititi, rather. Um, so, yeah, I can't imagine, sometimes it probably wouldn't be, there'd be a lot of pressure involved, yeah. I think. Uh, in, in any case, I, I, a couple things. I would still say it seemed like he... He was there. Yeah. You know, it, it was his. It was his joint. Puppy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I do have to say, though, that, uh, you know, they do set it up. They've done a nice job of, of a couple things. Setting up thing, uh, setting up the whole story so that when you see somebody, the simple act of picking up a hammer that they shouldn't pick up, that becomes like a whole mo moment. Like that yeah. becomes a big moment. They've built that into, you know, your expectation as an audience member. So that's that, that sort of codified language. I think, you know, that kind of like, what? You know, what? That, yeah. that, those become the surprises. If you know, you know, if you've seen the other movies. The other thing, too, is that um, when I was a kid, you'd have the magazine rack and the two most boring looking co comics were Doctor Strange and and Thor. And they just look sort of self-important. Really? I, 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 I wow, never, really? I, I never got into them, and I never yeah, read no, them. Yeah, no, no. Well, neither did I, but I, I that, that's interesting. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it the, was just, it, they were very self-serious. They were very kind of somber-looking comics, and and they've, again, I haven't read them, uh, but they, what Marvel has seemed to have done is sort of set that on its head, you know, mm -hmm. given them some lightness, given them some humor in addition yeah. to to all the things that make them formidable. Um, and, and they become, both Doctor Strange and, and Thor have become two of the more interesting characters, <coughs> uh, I think. Excuse me, everybody. In the universe, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, uh, yeah, I think that's a great note to end on. Um, <coughs> oh, good grief. Again, my apologies, everybody. Because uh, I won't be editing that out. Uh, yeah, so I, would you, you'd recommend seeing yeah, the yeah. theater? It was yeah. a great summertime movie. If you like Taika Waititi and his sense of humor, it's got laughs. I think the audience was into it. And there's a couple neato moments that that you'll, you know fans will really uh, dig. Yeah, yeah, and and a lot of fun. Yes, you know what? Yeah. It's got a good heart. Yes, yes. Let's say, yeah, you know what? Uh, good heart understands it's there to entertain the audience. Yeah. Understands it's there to entertain, let's say, an MCU audience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so delivers a lot of expectations. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, on that note, what are we watching again? Or what are we talking about this Sunday? Yeah. Uh, everything, everywhere, all, all at, at once. once. <laughs> yes. So, folks, check that out. Uh, and uh, we'll see you on Sunday night at 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a nice, uh, a nice good ramble about uh, one of the hip, one of the cool kid movies. A24, baby. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, from the Tim Hortons parking lot here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Good night. And uh, ciao for now.